Hey, what's going on everybody? This video, we are going to be talking about escape sequences. So escape sequences are special characters that mean something when they're used as a character or within a string. So let's talk about it. But first, I want you guys to check out Embarcadero's C++ Builder. Embarcadero is sponsoring this series and they offer a really great IDE for C++ development. C++ Builder is ideal if you want to deploy an application to multiple platforms. Specifically, C++ Builder allows you to deploy to Windows, Mac OS, iOS, and Android. So you are able to do this all from a single C++ code base. Check them out guys, I'll leave a link for you in the description. So to begin, it's important to understand that there are certain characters that get interpreted rather than just printed. So for example, if we do a backslash T, this is an example of an escape sequence. You may also have seen backslash n, that one's pretty common. So what these do is they say, hey, we want to do something rather than just print backslash t. In this case, it's going to put a tab character. So for example, I could put two words here. And what's gonna happen is when we run this, we get hello there. So this backslash t is being interpreted. There are a lot of other ones and that's what we're gonna be talking about in this video, just so you guys have an understanding of what you can do with these. Another possible one is backslash B. And what this does is it will actually delete a character. Oh, sorry guys, I didn't mean to <laughs> pardon my language. Some of these I'm not entirely sure the use of, like when would you want to backspace in a string? Like why don't you just manually delete it? But there could be situations when you want to do that. So just know that it exists. Backslash N is the one we've been using already. This will go down to the next line. There's the backslash V, a vertical tab. So that's pretty cool. And then there's another fun one, which is backslash A. Now, when you execute this inside of Visual Studio Code, nothing's gonna happen. But if you get another console, so let me get, grab the path here. We're gonna travel to this path. So you can just CD to this path here and then run it. You can see there's a little beep. Another common one you might see is actually going to come up a lot later when we talk about strings, and that is a backslash zero. So what is a backslash zero? This is known as the null terminating character. And what this is, is it'll actually be used later to indicate the end of a C style string. So by C style string, I mean strings that were native to C and are still available inside of C++. So this is how we could tell when the string was over. So if we had a string, it would be like this in storage. It'd say hello there, and then there would be a backslash zero to say the string is done. It's something you definitely don't wanna replace. <laughs> so if you're working with strings and you erase it, functions can accidentally go beyond the end of the string and go into areas of memory they're not allowed to access, which is bad, by the way. Now another one is backslash double quote. So there we go. So what this does is it allows us to type a double quote, because if you don't put that backslash, what's going on is it thinks that this one we're typing in here is the end of this first one, and then we just have this one floating at the end, which is not what we want. So if we wanted to quote something inside of a string, like let's say we wanted to have hello there inside of quotes, you can see this is the string part, and then there's just a bunch of extra junk at the end. So what we need to do is we need to prefix these with a backslash. Now it understands this to be the beginning quote and this to be the ending quote. So when we compile and run this one, we get hello there with quotes around there. You can also do the same thing for a single quote like so, but this actually really isn't necessary inside of a string. So you can see it does print the single quote, but even if we take off that backslash, it's going to work just the same and you can see the single quote prints exactly the same way. Why is it there then? Well, if you're actually doing this with a character instead of a string, it becomes important. What if we wanted to store the single quote character? We might say something like this and set that equal to a single quote inside of quotes. Well, this isn't gonna work because it's now it's the same issue we were having with the double quotes where it thinks this is the opening quote and the second one is the closing quote and then we just have this extra one at the end. So if this is the situation you're in, you need to put a backslash here. So the backslash single quote is for characters, the backslash double quote is for strings. Now the only other one I can think of that you might run into in your early career C++ is backslash backslash. So what if you actually wanted to put a backslash in your string? 
Well, if you just put a backslash here, it's not gonna work because this is the typical character used for escape sequences. So it thinks we're trying to interpret this double quote <laughs> and we're not. We're trying to just write a backslash. So if that's the situation you're in, you actually have to put two backslashes. Now when it runs, it's only going to output one backslash and you can see the backslash is right there. Now there are some other escape sequences. If you need a full list, just look it up on the internet. I'm sure you can find a list. The ones I covered are the ones you're going to run into the most often, but there are definitely ones out there for other things like dealing with trigraphs and hexadecimal and Unicode and all kinds of stuff like that. So this is where I encourage some extra study. Go look up the escape sequences and give some of them a try. That's all I got for you guys in this video. The next video, we're gonna be talking about bool. Now, I know I said in the previous video we're gonna be talking about bool in this video, but you know, I lied. My bad. It was an accident, okay? I misread my notes, deal with it. <laughs> all right, I'll see you guys in the next video, and if you've enjoyed this content, please be sure to subscribe.